this matches up the same as the formula because we still are finding out the, the difference between these two because I could write y sub two minus y sub one over x sub two minus x sub one, but then it turns into being this, negative um, three minus negative six, and then you've got uh, two minus five, and now just you have to go negative three minus negative six, negative three plus six, which is going to be a positive three if they don't miss that, and two minus five is going to be a negative three. You still end up with a negative one, but a lot of times right here, students get lost in the signs or they can't do that subtraction. Amen. That's it.